you have a native speaker friend or if you have native colleagues, uh, native speaker of English, uh, who are native speaker of English, you will uh, take advantage of these expressions a lot and uh, especially if you're going to abroad for a working reason or another reason. The first one is, how can I help? You know, we use it a lot. How can I help you? And the second one is, I will be with you in a moment. We, we can say second in a minute, but moment is better. What time is the meeting? You can ask for the meeting's time like that and uh, think about a situation that someone uh, calls you and you didn't respond to them. You, you, are, you were busy with some other things. So you can say, please call me back at and give the time. Please call me back at 2 p.m. for example. And the other one, you know, world is full of misunderstandings. Unfortunately, it is a sad fact. But um, if you are, if you feel that you are misunderstood, I think you are right. Uh, please rely on your uh, thoughts and feelings, uh, but don't make it a story. Please ask to this person. So you can say, what What do you mean? Would you can ask, what do you mean? And also you can answer like, actually I told, or I mean, okay? If you are misunderstood, you can say, actually I told, or I mean. And the other one is, I am about to. About to means you're just doing it, or you're just, you will do it in a minute, soon, okay? As soon as possible. So you can say, I'm about to leave. Think about the scenario. Uh, someone comes uh, and your colleagues or, or your friends among your friends and he or she tells you uh, invites you to a birthday party hanging out with your friends at coffee center or somewhere else you can say um, I'm so sorry if you want to refuse I, I'm so sorry but I'm about to leave in a second in a moment so please call me back at 2 p.m. maybe or we can talk about it in detail after and the last one is, I was assuming that. If you misunderstand someone and you don't, you are not sure about if you're right for this approach or not, for the attitude, I mean, you can say, oh, I was assuming that, okay? Uh, let me give you an example uh, to illustrate uh, there's a patient and you are an eye doctor. And the patient comes uh, and said, uh, and ask you the, what what is the problem according to the symptoms she or he had and uh, you explain it in detail she or he can say oh I was assuming that it is about my dried eyes dried eyes dry eye problems but his or her idea may change <laughs>